Etrachan Sart. My name is Akamatsu. I work at a small massage company in my hometown. You're working hard as usual, Akamatsu-kun. Here, have some tea. Ah, Azumi-san. Thank you so much. The oldest employee in here is Azumi-san. All of the employees in here, including her, are incredibly good people. There are some struggles, sure. But I think it's got plenty of ideals. Good morning, everyone. Ah, good morning, sir. Hello, good morning. Akamatsu, how are you feeling? Have you gotten used to the swing of things at work? Ah, uh, well, you know, here and there. I see, okay. Well, I'm glad that you're learning things, even if it's still spotty. It's impressive. I want you to keep it up, huh? I'm really counting on you. And you know, Tsutsuchi's cheering for you as well. <laughs> Thank you very much. Tsutsuchi is the CEO's wife. She's an elementary school teacher, and actually taught me when I was in school as well. It was our hometown, so I had a lot of people that I knew around. But still, I was pretty surprised to find out about this. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Hey sir, did you want me to go over next Saturday again? I mean, I've got to help out with the president, you know? Yeah, that would be great. Thank you for always helping out. I really should be doing it instead of you. But I have to go somewhere this weekend for a meeting that I have to lead. Oh, it's totally fine, sir. The president is, of course, the president of this company. He used to be the CEO of the company, but he's now over a hundred years old and an old man. He's starting to become senile, obviously. So the CEO and his wife are taking care of him. Here you go. Oh. Akamatsu-kun, thank you for always coming over and helping out. Oh, please. The CEO is always taking good care of me. And if I don't come here, you'd end up here all alone taking care of him, Miss Tsutsuji. <laughs> I'm such a lucky teacher to have such a caring pupil. All right, well, how about you eat some lunch as a small gesture of a thank you, huh? Wow, thank you. Honestly, part of me is coming here because I like to be able to eat this really good food. I mean, the biggest reason is obviously because I'm worried about Miss Tsutsuji, but, but man... The CEO must be really busy, you know. The president isn't the CEO's father, right? Yeah, Tokusa-san's father's brother. So in other words, his uncle. He was married but didn't have kids, right? That's why the CEO, who would be the nephew, is taking care of him. Yes, and Tokusa-san owns quite a bit for the president. When he was in high school, his parents both passed away. He wasn't sure what he wanted to do when the president picked him up. He started learning all the techniques and he found a job here as soon as he graduated. And now he's a CEO of the company. I see. The CEO is incredible. And the president is also really kind, isn't he? Yes, they're both pretty good in their own right. But the most incredible person has to be Miss Tsutsuji, I think. It's not even like she owes him directly, but he's working hard to take care of the uncle every single day. So this is how things were going. I would take some time between work to go take care of the president, but... Huh? The president is dead?! Yes, but he had quite the peaceful look when he passed. I see. He was 102 years old. I think that he led a wonderful life. The funeral was relatively quiet and small. When he was still alive, he apparently didn't particularly like flashy or loud proceedings. So they figured that he would want it this way. I had taken care of him, so I was asked to attend as well. There really weren't that many people, but it was a peaceful and quaint funeral. At least, up until that point. Good morning! Huh? Wait, where's Asami-san? Is she not here yet? She's always here long before any other employee. Ah, Akamatsu! Hmm? Oh, hey, Tokusa-san. Is something wrong? Are you okay? You kind of look like you're a little under the weather. Well, I found out something big. Something really grave and dire. Huh? What do you mean? Right. You just went straight home after the funeral. You wouldn't know. Yes, sir. So are you saying that something happened after I had gone home? Is that what you mean? Yeah. You and the other attendees had gone home, and then Tsutsuji and I met up with a lawyer, Hiragi-san, but... Huh? What do you mean? I need you to calm down and listen to me, sir. The president has an adopted child. An adopted child? He never said anything about that to me. But more importantly, can you tell me the person's name? Or the person who was adopted? 
It's Azumi-san. The president had adopted the longtime employee Azumi-san approximately 15 years ago. Huh? Azumi-san was adopted by Tachibana-san? What the heck is going on? Yeah, that was my reaction too. That's why I immediately called Azumi-san on the phone. She was at the funeral, so she immediately turned around and came back, and I thought that it must be some kind of mistake, so I asked her directly, but... No, it's the truth. The president. No, my father and I both agreed that I would be adopted by him. Then why did he keep this whole thing quiet from anyone around him? Because he wanted to keep it that way. If people found out about me when people are going to start talking about inheritance and all kinds of other issues, I'm sure he probably felt like it'd be difficult for me to stay at that company, so he told me to just be quiet about it. But why did you get adopted by him? Because my life was incredibly tough and I was struggling quite badly. The president came to me and offered to help me. You do know that he was a kind of person offer a helping hand to those in need, right? Ugh. I mean, if you asked me whether or not he would do it, then he would. Because my uncle really was that kind of man. I mean, maybe that's true, but hang on just a second. What happens to the inheritance in a case like that? I mean, uh, I know that it's kind of messed up for me to bring that up in a situation like this, but still, it begs the question. There's no will. Huh? The president, my uncle, didn't leave a will. I think that he probably thought that he wasn't exactly the age where he should write a will or something. But then he slowly started to develop dementia, and he was no longer in any condition to be writing up a will. That's why, now that we are where we are, the inheritance is most likely going to be inherited by Azami-san, who's technically the closest relative. I'm technically his nephew, but Azami-san is his daughter, so... Ugh. But... but that just doesn't make any sense. I mean, yeah, Azami-san is a very serious and hard-working employee, I think she's even kind on a personal level, but still... The person who took the most care of the president till the very end wasn't her! It was Miss Tsutsuji! Yeah, I agree with you. I think so too. But the fact is that Azumi is adopted by him, and there's no will left to defer to. So... <sighs> oh yeah, speaking of Azumi-san, where is she anyway? She said she's going to be taking some PTO. She's been working non-stop for a long time so it's definitely well-deserved. <sighs> to be honest with you, none of this was sitting too well with me. I think it's because I was watching Miss Tsutsuji the whole time, taking care of the president. I know for a fact that she wasn't doing any of that to try to get after his inheritance or anything like that. But the fact remains that she was there to make sure that President Tachibana would be able to comfortably rest in peace. So I just felt like there should be some kind of... reward for lack of a better word. Since you put so much heart and soul into taking good care of him, you shouldn't take everything per se, but you should still get something for all of that hard work. <laughs> Did you really take the time out of your day off to come over here and give me your passionate speech? Oh, uh, sorry about that. Oh, it's totally fine. It just means that you're that worried about me, right? Yeah. But it's totally fine. I don't feel any sort of way about it. And besides, he was the one that wanted to adopt her out of his own free will. He should respect his wishes. I mean, that might be true, but... Excuse me! That voice. Coming. It's been a minute, ma'am. It's me, Katsura. Ah, well, hello, Katsura-san. I hope you've been doing well. Absolutely. Uh, sorry to intrude. Who's this gentleman? Oh, I'm Akamatsu, sir. I'm Miss Tsutsuji's student and an employee at her husband's company. I see. My name is Katsura. I spent quite a bit of time with the president and his nephew in both private and professional settings. However, I don't live in this prefecture anymore due to some work-related reasons. Oh, here's my business card. Thank you very much. I'm so sorry. I wish I could have been here sooner for the funeral. Oh, please. It was all so sudden. No one is going to blame you. A lawyer? Hmm? Is everything all right? Oh, uh, Katsura-san? Are you a lawyer? Yes. Is there something that's bothering you? If you want, I can at least listen to what's going on. Um, well... I told Katsura-san everything that had happened with the adoption and Azumi-san. Katsura-san was quiet for a little while before he said, That's a little... peculiar. Like I said before, 
I spent quite a bit of time around the president when he was still very active. If he were to adopt someone, I think that he would have asked me, or at least told me about his plans. Huh? You didn't hear about it at all either, sir? No, I didn't. I'm going to dig a little bit if you don't mind. I feel like there's something afoot here. Yes, please. A few weeks later, we were just waiting for a response from Katsura-san to get back with us with an answer. During that time, Azumi-san also finished up her PTO and returned to the office. Honestly, I was unsure of how to talk to her and deal with her because I was so unsettled by everything that I had heard about her adoption. But... Here, have some tea. Oh, uh, thank you very much. When we would interact with each other, she was just the usual peaceful and quiet Azumi. So I was very conflicted. The days went on, and it was finally the day that Katsura-san was set to come talk to us. So, what is it, Tokusa-san? Why did you call me to this house? I'm sorry. I know it's your day off. There's just something that I need to talk to you about. Not as your boss or CEO, but as your father's nephew. And who are you exactly? I'm a lawyer. My name is Katsura. I'm the reason that you're being asked to be here today. The reason I called you here is because I found something a little peculiar. Something peculiar, you say? Yes. The location in which these adoption papers were submitted is a little strange. They weren't submitted at the city office in the city that the president set his permanent address to. They were submitted in the city office in the city of your permanent address. A different prefecture entirely, actually. Why is that? Your home address is actually located in this prefecture, correct? Why did you go to a separate prefecture to submit these papers? That's because... There's one other thing that caught my attention. You need two witnesses in order for the adoption papers to be validated. Azumi-san, can you please tell me who the witnesses were for these adoption papers? There. And the most curious thing about all of this is that the president never mentioned anything about any of this to me. Not a single word. He did seem like the bold leader type, but he was actually quite the worrier. I mean, several decades ago, before he decided to take on Tokusa-san as the new CEO, he always talked to me about what he thought the best options were. Any legal ramifications, and that sort of thing. Really? Yes. So I feel that something's just not adding up. That he would keep something as big and as important as adopting someone from me without talking about any of the issues that may arise as a result. I'm not sure what exactly you're trying to say. Well then, let me be clear about it. I am very suspicious about what's going on with you and these adoption papers. We're going to be performing a test on who wrote that with regards to the handwriting as well. That will really determine who wrote what on these adoption papers. Akamatsu-kun! What the heck are you doing here, Akamatsu-kun? I had him come here just in case anything happened. But I didn't realize that you'd go and try to stab your own throat. Azumi-san! Why? Why would you... About 15 years ago, the president collapsed because of an illness. And I thought to myself that if this man dies and his nephew would get the inheritance as well as the company. And I couldn't let that go. Think about it. I've been working here for the longest time out of anyone else. I supported the president when he was still just a new CEO. And someone just comes out of left field, takes a CEO position, then takes everything else as well? I thought that I'd at least try to take inheritance for myself, so I did what I had to do. The adoption was the means to all of that. It was also about 15 years ago that I did that. The one thing that I didn't consider was the fact that the president would live for 15 more long years. I couldn't bring myself to say anything about it. I'm sure if I just helped take care of him, then there might have been a better impression of me. But if I did something wrong while the president was still alive, I figured that someone might find out, so... I did nothing. Hmm. Whatever the case, is all over for me now. Come on, call the cops, beat me up. Do whatever you want to me. I guess it's a life behind bars for me now. Azumi-san. Um, honey, can you please not tell the police about Azumi-san? I'm begging you. Huh? What do you mean? You don't want to have someone get arrested in your employ because it can lead to ruined trust? Yes, that's part of it since I'm the CEO's wife. But I think that you really did support the president. You really did support our uncle. Huh? Tachibana-san. After he become more senile, he would start to act like he was at work again from time to time. When he did, he would often mistake me for you and talk to me. Thank you so much for all the hard work, Asumi-chan. You really take such a great care of me. I'm able to push forward this much with my job because you're so hard working. 
I was the one who supported him till the very end. I took care of him and made him comfortable. But the final person that supported him as a working man was you, Asumi-san, so... So what? Are you going to give me the inheritance or something? Asumi-san... I'm just joking. I wouldn't be able to accept that money after pulling this kind of horrible crap. Sasuji-san, you are the CEO's wife. You really shouldn't be saying something like that to someone like me. But... It's fine. I had already betrayed the president when I had come up with my own plans 15 years ago. I have no right to receive anything from you all except punishment. That's it. Azumi-san. Azumi-san ended up abandoning the inheritance entirely. However, everyone agreed that the adoption issues would be a bad thing to have found out into the world, so we all agreed to just let it disappear. Afterwards, she resigned on her own volition, and the CEO agreed to pay out her full amount of retirement savings. As for me, I still stop by Miss Tsutsuji's house from time to time, and talk about things that are going on in the world. So anyway... Hmm? What is it, Miss Tsutsuji? I'm just wondering why you're always coming over to our house when you don't need to help out with anyone anymore. I mean, I'm able to hang out and be entertained with you being here, but you're young, so you should be spending more of your time on your hobbies and such. I mean, I'm spending a pretty good amount of time with my hobbies, too. You really don't need to worry about it. And besides, there's no more fun than enjoying the food that you cook, Miss Tsutsuji. Ah, uh, I don't know if I'm that good at cooking beer. Oh, you absolutely are! More than anything, your meals are very nostalgic to me, and I have a lot of memories with your food. Oh, that's right. You used to come over to our house often from when you were in elementary school. Yes, I did. My mom wasn't around, and my dad always worked late into the night, so I used to go over to your house every day, almost, and have dinner with you. I'm really sorry about that. I remember you coming back home and cooking dinner just to cook me my meal before going back into the school to finish up work. I'm sure that was probably a lot of pressure on you. Oh, it's fine. I'm your teacher and you were my student. It's that simple. And besides, I've got a similar experience as you. Huh? I wasn't exactly rich growing up either. And a boy actually showed up out of the blue in my neighborhood and would often share his food with me. By the way, if you were wondering, that boy was Tokusa-san. Huh? I see. You two knew each other from all the way back then, huh? Yes, there were times I'd be the target to some hateful words and actions, but there were a lot of times that I was really saved by beautiful people. Whether if it was out of goodwill or calculated, someone helping someone else is how the world goes round. For example, you helping out that Chibana son. I see. But I mean, no. I know that you're incredible, Miss Tsutsuji. I'll follow you till the end of days. <laughs> you know that I'm not your boss, right? Your boss is Tokusa son. ご視聴いただきありがとうございました。自分が長年尽くしてきた職場ですからね。見返りもないどころか、唐突に知らない人間がやってきて、ってなると邪念を抱いてしまうのも仕方のないことなのかもしれません。とはいえ、養子縁組